Welcome to this VBA quickie here. I'm going to show you how to very easily suppress Excel's confirmation windows using VBA because it's not very automated if when we run a macro we have to keep clicking yes or no. So an example of this is when we go to delete a worksheet if you right click and go to delete. It's a little off the screen right now but we get this little window. Microsoft Excel will permanently delete the sheet. Do you want to continue? Delete or cancel? And if we do this in VBA, we will also get the same window. So let's go ahead and fix that. And I'm also going to show you how to do it for saving a file that already exists. So with the same name or changing the file extension. But it works for pretty much all of the alert windows. Now, if you want to learn so, so, so much more about VBA and go from beginner or intermediate to advanced and expert level, you can check out my full VBA course. There will be a link to it below this video. All right, let's go to the VBA window, Alt F11, and we're going to do three things here. Remove a worksheet, overwrite a file, and change the file type. So first off, how do we remove a worksheet? Real easy. Just tell it which worksheet you want to remove. Extra sheet. And delete. Now we can hit play. And there's our lovely window. Our very annoying window. I know that I want to delete it. That's why I wrote the code. All we have to do, application, dot display alerts, false. That is it. Now we can run the macro. And notice the sheet's gone from here. Let's go back here. Extra sheet is gone. Now, if you have a tiny macro like this, you do not need to turn the alerts back on at the end of it. But usually this is going to be a piece of a much larger macro. So what I want you to do is right after the code that's going to trigger an alert that you don't want to have to deal with, right after that, go ahead and turn the alerts back on so the rest of the code will work as expected. And this little thing, alerts equals false and then equals true around the desired code, that's all you have to do. So let's go for overriding a file. This workbook dot save as. And what do we want to do? Well, let's go with this workbook dot path. So we're going to give the full file path name and extension. And we're going to go testing file dot xlsm and comma and 52 for the Excel macro enabled file format. And this file already exists. I made it just a moment ago. So when we run this, it's going to say, this file already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, no, cancel. So once again, yes. And all you do, grab that guy. And then put him back down here. That's it. Or run it. And there we go, testing file.xlsm. You can see it up here at the top of the code window, or Alt F11 testing file right here. So it's worked. Now you may be asking, okay, well, there were a few options, yes, no, cancel in the alert window. What is it going to choose? Well, almost always it's going to choose the default option. But of course, please, please, please test it on sample files before you put this guy into production. Because the last thing that you want to do is to overwrite files and not be able to get them back. The very last one is changing the file type. It's pretty much the same as what we just did, just with a little bit of a change. So save as, and we're going to go with this workbook.path, and like that, let's go new file. But this time, xlsx instead of sm. So it's not going to be macro enabled. So we use 51 for the file type. And when I try to run it, well, once again, it's going to say, hey, this is not a good idea. Maybe it is. I don't know. What do you want to do? Save it as macro enabled or not? And let's close this to cancel it. OK, end. And just this. So be careful when you do this. Test your code. But you can see it's very easy to get it to do what you want. Run the code. And now we have an XLSX file. It is this current file. And if we close and reopen it, this code will no longer be here. However, the file that was here just a moment ago, testingfile.xlsm, that's still going to exist. That's for another tutorial to explain how Save As works, because it can be a little bit confusing occasionally. 
But for this tutorial, that's all there is. Just remember application.displayAlert equals false before the code and then equals true at the end of the code. And put it around the code that you are trying to suppress alerts from. You don't just want to blanket turn this off for your entire macro. That can cause problems that you don't notice. Like if you actually don't want to overwrite a file later in the macro, but you have code that uses save as. So keep it tight like this, and you should be good to go. And once again, if you want to learn so, so, so much more about VBA for Excel, check out my full course. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Have a great week.